In that same spirit, the B-52s did a public service announcement for the group Art Against AIDS. In the flowers in the front, how, you know, like in the Sgt. Pepper cover, it says Beatles. We came up with something that said, Be Alive. I mean, that's, that's I think, a lot, that has a lot to do with the B-52s, so this positive energy, in, uh, as opposed to sort of like, you know, just doom or, or you know, they're, they're not about that. Brothers, friends, lovers, parents are dying of AIDS. I mean, it's, every, the, our whole system's out of whack. And the only way things are going to change is if people pull together, support causes that attack these problems, and not be ashamed of things. This is the decade of the planet, and we've got to heal the planet. We have to heal people with AIDS. We just Everybody has to do their part, and as a band, we're going to do our part. In a lot of ways, I felt like this album was kind of coming full circle. Um, we really wanted to get back to a band sound and mm. capturing that enthusiasm you get from a band, a group of people playing together, a band wailing together. And To capture the excitement of their live shows for the Cosmic Thing album, the B-52s brought aboard a pair of groove-driven producers, Was Not Was founder Don Was and longtime fan Nile Rodgers. Their music hits you right away. Um, almost all of their songs that I've loved in the past, as soon as I hear them the first time, I like them. There's something really attractive and appealing and something alluring and seductive about their grooves. You know, it's, it, just, it just works. With Ricky Wilson gone, drummer Keith Strickland switched to guitar, and the group recruited Sarah Lee on bass, Zach Alford on drums, and Pat Irwin on keyboards and guitar, seasoned players who added to the jamboree feel of the B-52's live shows. We really want to have an interconnection with the audience, and we do. It becomes like a big dance party. We're not just up there entertaining, but we're attending a giant party. And everyone, we have this kind of electrical, dance, kinetic, energy connection with the audience. Now in their 14th year of making music, the B-52s have become more outward-looking, setting up information tables at their concerts for such groups as Greenpeace and People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals. We got involved with People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals when we did a rally in Washington. We guest hosted. And it turned out to be the largest rally in animal rights history, you know, on the Capitol lawn in front of the Washington Monument. Today the world is going to the dogs and the cats and the monkeys and all animals because we're here to speak out for them. Well, we've been involved with the environmental movement for some years and we've all been members of various animal rights groups and been vegetarians for about I don't know, 12 years or more. And so it's a, it's a subject that's very close to home. We sort of made a decision that we wanted to do more songs that matter to us. And on this album, Channel Z brings out the subjects that concern us. Channel Z sort of refers to the edge of whatever, the abyss. What's stressed in that song is we, we can make it happen, we, you know, working together people can pull the earth back from the brink. And that's, that's our start of the 90s song, you know, and that's going to be one of our goals, is just, you know, mm. help pull it back. Otherwise, because Channel Z is the last channel, you don't want to go there. The 
2's upbeat outlook for the 90s is perhaps best captured on the Cosmic Thing track, Rome. It's about breaking through boundaries and uh, sort of going beyond your fear. It has a very sensual and spiritual quality at the same time, you know, that those two can exist, mm -hmm. coexist together. It's about travel in the inner world and the outer world yeah. as well. I love seeing Rome, you know, on MTV and, and on the radio. I mean, it's because I just think it's such a positive, uh, has such a positive outflow, mm -hmm. you know, and it's just great to hear that. If I say so myself. <laughs> <laughs> With Cosmic Thing, the B-52's long, strange trip from Planet Claire seems complete. They've arrived at last at a place they're ready to call home, our own strange and troubled but still lovable planet Earth. When we started the band, I think we, we definitely attracted people that were outsiders because we were such super freaks ourselves, and we, we definitely attracted people who felt like they weren't really in the mainstream and people would come to us and say, you know, boy, you really made growing up a lot easier because, I mean, I guess we looked pretty weird then and we didn't care. And I guess, yeah, we did look weird. So what, you know? We're communicating the idea that um, our differences work together, you know, because we all are slightly different from each other and mm -hmm. it's okay to be different and, uh, you know, make it work for you. I think a lot of people don't feel part of the mainstream now. That is the mainstream, people not feeling part of the mainstream. And so I think it's really become more universal. And it took a long time, but it paid off, you know. And we found out more about ourselves in the process, I think, too.